Well, I did say that uh, when I got the gear stick finished, I would do a, a picture of it on Facebook because, and not Facebook on YouTube because, um, yeah, it was a little bit hit and miss. I had the wrong size; it was far too long at first. It was the wrong shape. Uh, so this is actually a Mark III. The first first one was to here, which was far far too long. Second one was to about here. Again, it was too long. Um, but this one, this I think we've actually got it now. This one works pretty well. So uh, yeah, and I kind of done a wee bit of work to the to the end on it to just make it a little bit nicer for the hand. Uh, I'll show you what I've done with that in a second. Well, as you can see, this doesn't really look much like a, a gear stick knob, it's just a top of a banister. So what I've done with that was I took one of these insects. Actually fits quite nicely into the hole. So that wasn't too much of a hassle, just hammered that in. And I also secured it by drilling four little holes and putting four little screws into that just to keep it really solid. Once I've done that, now as you can see it's not really a nice shape, I then screwed a piece of threaded bar into, the, into this part and mounted that on my electric drill. Once I had that mounted to the electric drill, I made I put the electric drill into the clamps of the device and switched on. Now I tried to shape it using a chisel, but it just it was a waste of time. It just didn't work at all. But I found that a new drill, the edge of this part is very, very sharp and just the right angle. So as it was spinning, I could just hold that in the right place and I just took that down nicely. And I rounded it off a bit nicer, a better shape, got out most of the groove. Um, and then once that was done to how I wanted it, I then just used sandpaper. Same thing, spin it in the in the drill and use the sandpaper for to for to round it off. Once I made my bar the right shape, this is the old one. As you can see, it's just threaded threaded bar and bent into shape. Obviously I could have used that again but I wanted to kind of use the shape as a template so I then cut a piece of thread bar to the length that I wanted. I used one piece of 10mm interior diameter um, bar, um, tubing, some, uh, one millimeter thick wall and then I used another one that fitted tightly over the top of that again uh, so it was 12mm interior, so that gave it a lot more strength. Uh, bent it to shape, which was quite difficult, but I got there in the end. And there, yeah, well, you've seen the, the finished product. I'm quite happy with it, it works really, really well. It doesn't swing around all over the place, it gives me good, you know, good gear change. Yeah, everything's fine. Happy with it.